Hi, my name is Dr. Daniel Roney, and this video is going to be on peripheral neuropathy solutions. First thing I want you to know right off the bat is that peripheral neuropathy absolutely can be helped for most of you, regardless of what your healthcare providers have told you. The video and the understanding of the information on this video is critical and going to be critical for you to get better. Without this information, it's going to be very difficult for you to make major changes with your neuropathy. So, in short, this video is going to be able to save you a lot of time, energy, and money. So, in just a minute, we're going to go through step-by-step -step a PowerPoint presentation, where by the end of the presentation, I want you to know exactly what's needed in order to get better. Okay, science is overwhelming in the area of neuropathy now as far as getting it better. Unfortunately, it's just not being applied properly. So, when you get done this video, I think you'll be very impressed as far as the information and I want you to know that there's hope, okay? But again, this will certainly save you a lot of time, energy, and money as well as give you the information you need in order to get better, okay? So in just a minute, we'll get started and I'll take you step by step through the process so that your understanding is very clear. Okay, so the objective that we're going to try to cover today is to provide detailed information about peripheral neuropathy and the causes, explain what other healthcare systems are doing, and show in detail how we are different. By the end of this, I think you will understand A, why you're still suffering, but also what absolutely needs to be done. Okay, so I think this is going to be the answer for, for many of you watching this. All right, so our mission, just in general, is to teach, motivate, and help every man, woman, and child to live a healthier, happier, more pain-free, and quality-filled life using the latest science and research. So we'll achieve this through natural chiropractic care, the latest principles in neurology, rehabilitation, and the other factors of health like diet, exercise, rest, relaxation, and positive mental attitude. So that's our mission. A brief biography Essentially, you know, I'll let you read this. I'll keep it up here. I have an undergrad degree, sports medicine, biology, worked in rehab for many years, uh, rehabbing uh, neuropathies especially, high honors graduate degree in chiropractic. Currently, though, I'm working towards a diplomate in functional neurology. Okay, and then also, which is very, very helpful with neuropathy, I have over 300 postgraduate graduate hours in functional endocrinology, functional nutrition, and blood chemistry. Okay, so... That, as I'll explain in just a minute, is going to be very, very helpful. So the background and experience, basically I haven't stopped going to school in the last 20 years. So everything I've accumulated allows me the, the I guess, knowledge to be able to help neuropathy a great deal. The results that we get are phenomenal, but there's reasons why. Okay, this slide's very, very important. One of the things you'll see over here on the left you'll see condition, right? So we see a lot of these conditions on the left in my office. Thyroid conditions, blood glucose uh, irregularities known as insulin resistance, fibromyalgia, vertigo, or balance disorders, sciatica, chronic fatigue, and there's yours, peripheral neuropathy. Okay, we also see rheumatoid arthritis and all autoimmune diseases, chronic neck and back pain, stenosis, irritable bowel, etc. right? You can read those. The reality though, let's focus obviously on peripheral neuropathy. Your peripheral neuropathy is coming from four main causes. So let's look over here on the right and you'll see chronic conditions on the left stem from oxygen deficiency, decreased blood flow, decreased energy for the cell, and increased inflammation. Essentially, those four things lead to cell death. And in your case, it's neurons or nerve cells. Your nerve cells are becoming damaged and or dying because of those four things. Lack of oxygen, decreased blood flow, decreased energy, and increased inflammation. When you have enough cell damage and or cell death, you are going to get, especially to the nerve cells, you are going to get signs and symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. Okay, Numbness, tingling, stabbing, burning, feeling like you're walking on rocks, if you will, or tacks cramping, painful sleep, 
okay, your feet start to burn or, or ache at night, etc. Those are all peripheral neuropathy signs or symptoms, but the reality is, okay, and this is extremely important, it's because of lack of oxygen to the cells, decreased blood flow, decreased energy, and increased inflammation, right? Now, in order for you to get better with peripheral neuropathy, that has to be understood, number one, from a healthcare provider standpoint, that is. That has to be understood because unless this gets better, those four things that I just talked about, you have no chance of your peripheral neuropathy getting better. Why? Because that is the absolute cause of your problem. It's one of those four things, or for most of you, it's a combination of those four things. All right. Now, if you look just a step lower, it says these four things are caused by, so your oxygen deficiency to your cells, your decreased blood flow, your decreased energy for the cell, and your increased inflammatory response is due to these common findings. So most of you that are suffering with peripheral neuropathy have one or more of these common findings. Okay, You have blood sugar imbalances. What does that mean? Some of you are diabetic. Some of you have something called hypoglycemia and or insulin resistance. Now, if you have those problems, and I almost guarantee most of you do, you will not get enough energy production for the cell because glucose okay, is needed in order to produce something called ATP. ATP is what your cells, all cells of the body, including nerve cells, use for energy. Without the right amount of glucose in your blood, excuse me, in your cells, you will not create energy for the cell and that's going to lead to cell death and it's going to cause peripheral neuropathy. Okay? Adrenal imbalances. If you have problems with your adrenals, okay, and what that will lead to is, and, and just to back up, adrenal imbalances, most of you have, it, it has to do with stress response affecting your adrenal glands. And those adrenal glands secrete something called cortisol. And just to, not to be too long-winded here, when you have too much or too little cortisol, it is a major impact on your energy and oxygen and blood flow and it causes great amounts of inflammation. So a lot of you have adrenal imbalances but I can almost guarantee you they've never been checked. Okay? Chronic infections. A lot of you have either past viral infections, you may have uh, active infections in your digestive tract right now and those infections if not taken care of and or corrected are going to lead to inflammation. Okay, and that inflammation is basically the root of all evil. Okay? Anemia. A lot of you have anemia. What is anemia? Anemia means you don't have enough oxygen flowing to, to your cells via your blood. Okay? A lot of you have anemia. So if you're getting decreased oxygen, every cell in your body needs oxygen. So that is a major problem, and a lot of you have these. Okay? Autoimmune attacks and immune imbalances. Many of my neuropathy patients have these as well. And when you have a constant autoimmune attack or an immune imbalance, you will get chronic inflammation, which will lead to cellular death. Okay? Also, we see food sensitivities and or leaky gut. What does this mean? It basically means, and I'll keep it as simple as possible, that the foods that you're eating can be contributing to increased inflammation in your body. And again, all these things up here that, are, that the pointer's on is leading to cellular death. So we have to... As, as a healthcare provider understanding neuropathy at its cellular level, this is absolutely, this slide is absolutely critical for you to get better. Again, without applying this knowledge, you have very little chance of getting better with your neuropathy because these, in essence, according to the latest science and research, are the causes of your problem. Okay? So once again, let's just recap this. All chronic health conditions have common underlying causes. Your peripheral neuropathy that you see over here on your left is caused by oxygen deficiency, decreased blood flow, decreased energy for the cell, and increased inflammation. And they all lead to cellular death. Okay? Why do you have those four things? Because most of you have these common ailments that aren't being corrected. 
blood sugar imbalances, adrenal imbalances, chronic infections, anemia, autoimmune attacks, immune imbalances, food sensitivities or leaky gut, and brain imbalances. Okay? If those are going on and they're not corrected, your neuropathy will continue to get worse and worse and worse. So this slide in and of itself will save you a lot of time, energy, and money. Why? Because there are a lot of advertisements out there now that are advertising things like laser or re the rebuilder, a TENS unit. Now, let me state this very specifically. Those can help short term, okay? They can help you feel better. But once that therapy is stopped and the oxygen deficiency is still there, decreased blood flow is still there, decreased energy for the cell is still there, and your increased inflammatory response is still there because no one's corrected these problems, you will always, long term, have peripheral neuropathy, okay? Nothing was done with those therapies to actually change what we just talked about. And that is your golden ticket, okay? Because, again, these promises that I see made out there that it's going to do this and do that, it can do help with pain relief short term, okay? But again, you should, you should be surmising at this point that there's no way all these things can be helped by a laser or by a TENS unit. You can't fix blood sugar imbalances and anemias and autoimmune attacks and leaky gut by doing a laser. You just can't do it. And this is what the latest science is telling us, okay? So again, very important slide. Hopefully I made that abundantly clear. These really are the underlying causes to your neuropathy problems. Unless corrected, you just really don't have any chance of getting better long term. Our goal here is to get you better long term, help correct these problems, and then allow you to understand how you can maintain those on your own so that today and the rest of your life you can have relief with your neuropathy and or for some of you some correction. Okay? So the prognosis of your neuropathy and the outcome that's what prognosis stands for, greatly depends on the clinician's ability to fully understand peripheral neuropathy and be able to accurately diagnose the nerve fibers involved, okay, as well as correct any of those metabolic issues that we talked about on the previous page, your causes, okay. So there's absolutely hope, and I'm going to show you as we move forward how and why there is hope, okay. So the prognosis is good as long as the right things are done. All right, so when, when I say my approach and why successful, let me just say this, and I'll use a quick example. Somebody that walks in here with a chronic problem, and I'll use migraines as an example. I know this isn't a migraine lecture or video, but let me just use this. Typically speaking, we can do one of two things. In healthcare, go to the doctor. The doctor can prescribe medications. Medications help that person function, and I, I truly respect that because with migraines they can be debilitating, with neuropathy it can be debilitating. So, doctor gives medication for the migraines, however, say you stop taking the migraine medication. The problem's still there, okay? And it's typically because there are causes, it can get worse and worse. So, you can have that approach, or we can look at why the migraines are there. Four main reasons, cervical misalignments in the spine, it, hormone imbalance, food sensitivities, and brain imbalances, okay? That's proven. The research is overwhelming in regards to that. So we can either understand each of those causes and address each of those causes. And at the end of the day, I can almost promise you if we do those things, the migraines will be dramatically better and or corrected, okay? By addressing each of the causes. Or you can just continue to take medication and not address the causes, so the problem's still there, and with peripheral neuropathy, it continues to get worse, right? So that's my analogy, or my example. It's not really an analogy, but it's an example. So that's how we treat everything that walks in this office. We treat it by understanding the causes, according to the latest science, and then treating the causes, so that at the end of the day, if the causes are no longer there, the problem's better. That's what we do with neuropathy too. That's why we get excellent results. Why you see on the website that I'll give you at the end of this, that's why you see the testimonials that you see. Because we understand it probably better and apply it better than 99.99% .99 of the people out there. Unfortunately, the information is out there. It's just not utilized properly. And that's a shame. 
All right, so the basics of peripheral neuropathy. Let's look at this. It's a problem with nerves that carry information to and from the brain and spinal cord. The symptoms depend on which nerves are affected. These are sensory, which carry sensation, motor, control muscles, and autonomic, which carry information to organs and glands. All right? So essentially, we're going to really focus on sensory and some motor, but not so much autonomic. So damage to your sensory nerves result in changes to sensation to hot, cold, touch, pressure, and vibration. Okay? The symptoms can include tingling or prickling, numbness, sharp electric pain, burning, and the inability to determine joint position leading to loss of balance and incoordination. Okay? So your sensory nerves, you have nerve fibers and nerve cells, uh, sensory nerve cells in every basically tissue of the body, okay? Especially your skin and your joints, etc. And what they're doing is picking up sensation from your periphery, obviously, your, your external environment, and sending that information to the brain. So when those sensory nerves are damaged, you will get the symptoms that we just talked about. Tingling, numbness, sharp electric pain, burning, inability to determine joint position, leading to loss of balance and in coordination. When you, <coughs> excuse me, when you can't feel your feet, all right, your periphery, your peripheral nerves, sensory nerves are no longer sending information to your brain. And what happens, the cerebellum of your brain responsible for balance and in coordination becomes weak. Most of my neuropathy patients are starting to see or have poor balance and coordination. And that's because the sensation is not getting to the brain and keeping it strong. So the brain is just like a muscle. You strengthen it, it stays strong. If it doesn't get the right stimulation, it gets weak. Okay? So those are your basics of sensory nerve uh, sensations as well as symptoms. Damage to motor nerves interfere with muscle control and cause weakness, loss of muscle bulk, and loss of dexterity. Cramping and extreme tightness is also commonly seen with motor nerve involvement. So basically, I step on a tack, right? It's sharp. Sensory nerves send information to my brain. My brain then sends motor response and causes muscle contraction, so my foot comes off of that tack, okay? That's basically your sensory and motor nerve distributions there, all right? So when we do an exam, we need to test each individual sensory nerve and nerve fiber, okay? And I'll talk to you about that in just a second. So that's the basics of peripheral neuropathy there. Damage the sensory or motor nerves for the most part. All right, I put this up here, the bad and the ugly. Basically, neuropathy is progressive. When we talked about the causes of neuropathy, especially internal, so your internal environment, this is what I tell everybody, if you're having signs and symptoms of neuropathy, your health is extremely compromised because at a cellular level, we know you're not getting enough oxygen, blood flow, energy production, and you have chronic inflammation in those cells. Now, again, you don't just have that, those uh, things going on in your nerve cells, it's going on in every cell of your body. Okay, so it is progressive because those problems it, are rarely addressed with neuropathy and I'll almost say never addressed with neuropathy. So the neuropathy continues to progress. Okay, so it's extremely dangerous and should not be taken lightly at all. And I'll go as far as to say those symptoms mean that you have more serious complications in your health going on. Okay, can range from pain, numbness, tingling, loss of feeling, loss of touch, and coordination and dexterity problems mean coordinated movements, structural damage, atrophy of muscle which is muscle wasting, poor healing, slips and falls, loss of balance, de debilitation, amputation, and loss of movement and control are all the result of neuropathy. Okay, And again, it's because your cells are dying or becoming damaged because of lack of oxygen, blood flow, energy production, and inflammation. Okay. Other common causes that we'll see on a broader spectrum, statin medication use, okay, we'll talk about that, spinal issues, stenosis, disc degeneration, osteoarthritis. So these things basically, uh, plus cancer treatment and therapy, surgical complications, alcoholism, diabetes, and like we talked about, the metabolic conditions, okay, which are those anemias and blood glucose level problems, autoimmune, chronic infections, etc. okay. So essentially, let's go through 
I'll talk real quick once again about metabolic disorders and then we'll go through each one and show you how they cause neuropathy. So this slide, the causes continued. Unless these are fixed, again, you have no hope. So we already talked about that. The body is simply not working properly, causing chronic inflammation and changes in the body's blood chemistry, heavily contributing to neuropathy. Okay? So you have all these things that we talked about on the previous slides. And I just want to reinforce again that this is what nobody is looking at in regards to neuropathy. And to be honest with you, we've gotten phenomenal results because we do. Okay? So we look at all these underlying things that are causing lack of oxygen, blood flow, energy production, and inflammation to your cells. Okay? And they have to be at least examined. And once examined, we need to step by step look at and take care of those. Okay? All right, so statins, real quick. Statins are used for lowering cholesterol. Three billion dollar a year medication, okay? And most of my, I would say most, probably 70 plus percent of my neuropathy patients are on statins, okay? So they inhibit the production of something called coenzyme Q10, which is important for the production of energy for the cell. This depletion leads to cell death. As a result, neuropathy, nerve pain, myopathy, muscle pain, and even liver inflammation can occur. The number one use of statin meds is for lowering cholesterol. Okay? So basic cholesterol blocks the energy production for the cell, just like diabetes would or uh, insulin resistance or hypoglycemia, blood glucose level problems. Okay? So very, very important to understand. What I will tell everybody is do not go off your statins. Okay? That is not the purpose of this. I just want you to understand that you need to be aware that statin medication can cause it. When I go through with my patients one-on-one, -on -one, we try to work with the primary health care provider to either change it and or work on their dietary habits and, and reduce their cholesterol naturally. Cancer treatment, basically, real quickly, it, it essentially just destroys nerve cells, okay? It's as simple as that. It, it causes damage and destroys nerve cells. Diabetes is a biggie. When your blood glucose levels are higher over a period of time, basically it causes constriction of the blood vessels. And when we say blood vessels, we mean those deep ones in your feet and in your hands, far away from the heart. And they supply nerves, okay? And over time, without blood flow, you certainly don't have oxygen either, and your nerves start to become damaged, okay? Because of lack of oxygen and blood flow. Okay? so. Essentially, that's how diabetes causes neuropathy. To get, and we've done this many, many times, to get somebody's neuropathy better with diabetes and or blood glucose level problems, we have to essentially work hard on reversing as much as we can the diabetes. And it's absolutely possible for most of you. We do it every single day. Spinal problems, essentially, when your vertebrae, okay, they call it uh, osteoarthritis or disc degeneration, when your vertebrae get closer together or collapse, the hole for the nerve gets smaller. So foraminal stenosis means hole narrowing, so the, and that's where the nerve comes out. So if that's going on, spinal problems absolutely contribute with most of my patients to their neuropathy. Now, is it the only factor? No, but it is a big contributor for sure. Okay? So what I'm trying to piece together for you, everybody, listen to this video, this DVD, is the fact that there are literally multiple, multiple causes going on with your neuropathy, okay? It is not a one cause, one cure problem. There are multiple things that go into your neuropathy as far as causative factors. And again, my philosophy is, with my background and my knowledge of all the years of school and different uh, systems of the body, is to leave no stone unturned. Okay, if we examine everything that science tells us to look at and we start addressing these things one-on-one -on -one or one at a time or sometimes simultaneously, then we can at the end of the day make great strides and get great results. And we do. Okay? It's because we understand this probably better than just about anybody out there. Okay, so basically I, I put in here, okay, now what? Now, Essentially, what we're looking at now is what to do with the, all this information. Well, the first step is to do a full exam. When we do a neurological exam, it includes really three to four different parts. 
Number one, we need to do a full exam on your nerves and the nerve fibers of individual nerves responsible for vibration, touch, hot and cold, okay, those sensations. And when we do that, we use something called the Toronto Clinical Scoring System. Essentially, we're going to find areas on your face, on your arms, that you feel, say, vibration perfectly. And then we go down to your feet and ask you how you feel the same vibration sense on your toes, the ball of your foot, your heels, up your calves, etc. How you feel that compared to your cheek or the area that you felt it perfectly. And then you're going to give us a number. So on this Toronto Clinical Scoring System, we're going to, over time, of the course of this exam, we're going to test both feet, hands if necessary, calves, etc. with seven different things, okay? Hot, cold, vibration, pinwheel, pin prick, light touch, and a cool metal object. Those are seven different sensations that are all encompassing, meaning your sensory nerve fibers, you have four of them, each are responsible for those different sensations. So at the end of the exam, we can find out how severe your sensory neuropathy is and exactly what nerve fibers are affected. Once we know that, boy, a lot of good things can happen because the second part of this treatment, other than getting your internal environment right so you don't have that lack of oxygen, blood flow, energy production, and inflammation, now we have to put a plan together to help stimulate your damaged nerves. Okay, so the first thing we need to know with this exam is what nerves are actually damaged and to what extent. And that's what the Tor Toronto Clinical Scoring System does, and I just explained that to you. Okay, also with the exam, we need to test your motor nerves. Now, your motor nerves are responsible for muscle uh, control. So we do heel walking and toe walking. We test your muscle strength. We test your reflexes, etc. Okay, we want to find out if the motor nerves are involved. The other thing that we do, all right, the third part of this is to test your brain. And what I mean by that is many of you have brain imbalances now in the cerebellum specifically responsible for balance and coordination. So we need to neurologically test that very, very specifically to find out how bad or severe your balance is disturbed at this point. Okay, so that's the third part. So, so far, Toronto Clinical Scoring System for the Sensory Nerves, we test your motor nerves. We test your, um, I say, Toronto Clinical Scoring System, sensory nerves, motor nerves, your brain. We do a full neurological exam on your brain. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I apologize. We also look at your spine, musculoskeletally. Okay, we want to find out if there's x-rays that you've had done or what have you. We want to see spinal involvement. And then the fifth thing that we want to look at in this all-encompassing exam, right, trying to check you from head to toe are your labs any of your complete blood counts or your complete metabolic panels that have been done to this point we absolutely need to look at those because we need to find out why your neuropathy is going on and those are going to tell us very specifically why you're having the neuropathy again if you remember in order to get your neuropathy better the big key in this, of this whole video is that it has to be addressed in two ways internally we have to make sure you don't have lack of oxygen, blood flow, energy production, and chronic inflammation. And if you do, find out why you have it and then treat that. That's number one. The second part is then to put a plan together based on what we find here on your, on your Toronto Clinical Scoring System, your neurological exam, motor, sensory, etc. And what we're trying to do with that information is then devise a plan to help reverse the damage to your sensory nerves. Okay? And or balance of coordination and or motor nerves, right? So when I tell you it is very, 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 very advanced, very, very specific to figuring out why you're having neuropathy, I can almost promise you it's one of the most advanced in healthcare today, okay? So basically the nerves, I just explained what we do when we're looking for those nerves, okay? You have four nerve fibers that make up an individual nerve, sensory nerve. So essentially it's like cutting a cable in half, the cable is the nerve, okay? The, the, the fibers that run through it are these nerve fibers. You have A alpha, A beta, A delta, and type C. Basically, they all are responsible for different sensations. So proprioceptive input, A alpha. 
uh, touch, beta. Pain, temperature, okay, A delta. Type C, pain, temperature, and something called itching. Okay, so if you itch a lot, uh, minus a dermatological condition, that's your type C fibers. So again, we need to test each individual fiber to find out which fibers are involved and how severe. Okay, so once we find that out, we can really, really help you by devising a plan to help reverse some of that damage. Okay, so let's look at the plan overall, or just a, a basic, I guess, synopsis of what a plan could look like. So we do our full five-part exam, right? We do sensory, we do motor, uh, we do our neurological exam, we do our musculoskeletal exam, and then we look at your metabolic panels, which are your, your labs. Okay, we could do spinal decompression therapy to help your lower back. This is FDA approved, one of the most advanced on the planet. Now again, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I should say, when we devise a plan, it's very specific to every individual that comes in here based on what you present with. Okay, These therapies are just examples of what we could do. We may not have to do them all with you, but we have a lot of tools in our toolbox that will help us get there. Okay, Anodyne therapy is uh, monochromatic infrared therapy, the most okay, research therapy out there on neuropathy, and it, it is, helps increase your circulation, which for every one of you is a problem. We can do vibration, oxygen therapy with specific exercises, myofascial release, which helps loosen up the muscles and gets the... Uh, oxygen and blood flow going to the muscles and the tissues, small fiber sensory therapy using different brushes. So if we test your pin prick, pin wheel, and light touch, and you can't feel the bottom of your feet with any of those, we need to get stimulating, okay? We need to get those nerve fibers working better and better. And one thing I want to say is that nerve fibers will react because they're receptor driven. So the more stimulation and timing, frequency, and duration that you give a nerve fiber or a nerve cell, the better it responds. So what I want you to know is that your nerves are not dead, all of them anyway. The ones that are damaged, they're really just not working as well as they need to work, okay? But if you stimulate them right, they have the ability, according to science, to get better and better, okay? So you do that, and you stop, then you stop the metabolic problems going on causing neuropathy I'm telling you it doesn't get any better guys ladies and gentlemen I'm sorry okay so spinal and extremity manipulation hot and cold therapy balance and coordination therapy core strengthening nutritional counseling absolutely okay we need to put together some programs for some people depending on your needs okay uh, that are low inflammatory will help uh, regulate blood glucose levels etc so the nutrition, I usually do that with just about every neuropathy patient that comes in. So you know, okay, what to do a year from now, five years from now, so any changes that you make in our office, you can maintain. I want to give you the tools. I want to teach you how to get, keep this well, okay? And then again, fix the meta, metabolic disorders. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't reiterate this enough, and I know I, I've said it, and I don't want to, uh, I guess, beat a dead horse. Is that the saying? But unless these metabolic disorders are fixed you really have no hope there's not a medication that can do that there's not a therapy out there that can do that this has to be done very very specifically very strict nutrition protocols very strict nutritional uh, guidelines etc in order to fix those okay so that's the overall plan in general just the synopsis of what we could do the bottom line is we're going to do whatever we need to do based on what we find right so we find your problems and then we fix them that's the bottom line science and research is out there on this stuff overwhelming it's just not being applied properly and that's the unfortunate part okay so as far as moving forward if you were interested in coming to see me I offer two free visits which I'll talk about in just a second but let me say this commitment wise your commitment to getting better at this point in time if you watch the DVD you've been suffering with neuropathy and you go boy this this really makes sense and you compare it to what else is out there there really is no comparison I promise you that but if you say to yourself boy I really would like to get better I want to get better I'm tired of this I'm afraid it's progressing etc 
That's what we want right now, okay? That's where a 10, when I say a 10 out of a 10 commitment is important. I need you to be at a point where you want to get better, okay? Bottom line, because if you're eh, so-so or it's not that big a deal, the changes that we need to make, um, and they're not dramatic, but there's going to be work on your part that's going to be necessary in order to get better for you to get better I tell my patients that I'm going to guide you but the reality is you're gonna to have to do some of the work okay and I know a lot of you may not be used to that but if you're in the mindset of getting it fixed as opposed to covering it up this is geared towards you okay so from a commitment standpoint a 10 I need it no less S insurance let me just say this most of you will have out-of-pocket expense all right but what I will tell you is that most everybody that walks in this door can afford the care we have different programs designed that you can do monthly payments to bring it in your budget and let me just say this as an example I have a patient that makes twelve dollars and thirty cents an hour that has peripheral neuropathy that comes in to see me because of our programs that we have she can afford the care and she tells me, you know, with tears in her eyes, that thank you for offering those programs because she's gotten better and she can afford the care. So really, the reason that she's gotten better, okay, is because her commitment to getting better was through the roof. And we met her with that commitment, plus made it affordable for her, okay? And that's very important to understand. I want you to know that most people that walk in this door can afford the care based on some of the programs that we have okay so I don't go into insurance too heavily uh, we verify it on uh, the first day and let you know on your second appointment whether or not there's insurance coverage but again most of you will have some out-of-pocket expense for some of the things that we do here okay so what's next I talked about the two free visits to determine if I can help you if you're interested in this examination, okay, and I use this for a seminar, so this doesn't really apply, but call Terry if you haven't already signed up. Give Terry a call and just let her know that you saw the DVD and you're interested in the two free visits. Now, I will say this. I'm not sure how long this is going to last as far as the free visits. I may do it for the first quarter of 2011 and then uh, because up until this, this year, I charged... 450 for the uh, three-day exam. I changed it because there were some patients that went through the process that I really couldn't help. The things were just so far gone. So I'm, I want to be as honest and upfront with you as I possibly can uh, without having a financial obligation in order to determine if you're a candidate for the care here. But again, please go through the process if you're committed, not just to go through the process, okay? I want you to want to get better. And if you want to get better, then this is definitely the place for you. Okay, so spouse and significant other must attend the appointment, or spouse or significant other. And the reason I do that um, is because the results are better. When there's teamwork, the results are better. I'll leave it at, at that. Finally, any paperwork that accompanied this DVD, uh, which we typically send it out just in case you are interested, as most people uh, usually follow through with that, uh, Fill out the paperwork and fax or mail it at least one day prior to your scheduled appointment. If you schedule, uh, this is, I'm sorry, if this is for a seminar. So if somebody was in here, I'd have them uh, fill out the paperwork tonight before they went home. So basically, I need time to review, okay, your paperwork. And I want it back at least a day or two prior. So those are the things, in order to get the two free visits, we, we're going to ask you to do some specific things and that helps us determine who's really serious about coming in and getting help here okay so visit one complete evaluation that we talked about that five-step evaluation review existing labs review the paperwork that you fill out and uh, you must be with your spouse or significant other if applicable on visit two we'll overview we'll go over everything complete testing to be done if there's any labs we'll review neurological findings from visit one review the musculoskeletal findings, etc. We'll give you an overview of what the treatment plan is. We'll review financial obligation or out-of-pocket expenses as well as uh, give you an idea of how you can take care of those. And also you must be with your spouse or significant other on those first two appointments. Okay? So, gang, that's basically 
everything. Okay? This, again, just to some, uh, do a quick brief summary, this is by far the most advanced program out there on the planet today. I, I, I would put this up against anybody's, as well as the results that we get. I would put them up against anybody. When you evaluate a person with neuropathy as much as we do in the extent that we do, and come up with proven treatment protocols in order to fix those problems or correct them as much as we possibly can or help them as much as we possibly can uh, in, in the entirety that we do it, uh, you know, we're very confident that our program is as good or better than anyone out there, okay? And the results speak for themselves. So I personally wish you the best. I hope this was helpful. I hope you really can compare and contrast what's out there and again, if you've been through the mill, been to the doctors, doctor says, you know what, it's not much we can do for you. Uh, unfortunately, the doctors just don't understand the 40 minutes of this video that I just gave to you because the information is out there. So I personally will do whatever I can to help you, and I will work as hard or harder than probably any healthcare provider you've ever had in order to help you get better, as long as you meet me halfway, as long as you're willing to do a little bit of work for me, then I believe truly, for most of you, we can get you better. Okay? So, I wish you the best of luck. If you have any specific questions, give us a call at 714-241-9355 or go to the website www.ocperipheralneuropathyhelp.com which most of you have already gone there, uh, but you have those resources as well. Okay? So, again, two free visits. Take advantage of it if it's something that you're truly serious about getting better with, and uh, we'll determine over the course of that time whether or not you're a candidate for care and if I can help you. Okay? Either way, I wish you the best, and good luck, Ang.